Grüß dich. Girl, you better wait. You gotta get a countdown. Grüß dich. Grüß dich. <laughs> Say it. Grüß dich. <laughs>
<laughs> video with us. Let's move right along. So, number two, getting a driver's license as a civilian contractor. <laughs> I've touched on that subject a little bit, but I think she's better off at doing it than I am. So, maybe she can shed some light on that situation. Getting a license as a contractor was easy for me, but not easy for my spouse. David. Who's that? Oh, oh damn it. <laughs> <laughs> we went seven times, and that is not an exaggeration. We're not actual military, so we don't own a dot .mil account. If you don't own a dot .mil account... Dot .mil is the equivalent to having like a dot .com email address. The dot .mil just um, it emphasizes that it's like a dot .gov, dot .mil. It's what the military uses as far as the email addresses as opposed to dot coms, right? Yeah. And with you being civilian contractor working for a university, it's a dot edu. So I'm sure you guys know that. If not, it's wanted to clarify. Go ahead. <laughs> so the the dot mil is coincided with your CAC card, CAC. 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 Let me jump right back in there too. <laughs> CAC card. That's a cat card. That's the military ID card. If you guys are in the United States and you want to get onto a military base, you have to show your military ID card. She is a civilian contractor, so she does get those privileges of having a cat card. Her spouse doesn't, but I still get a military ID. He actually had to go in and take the test. And, uh, Absolutely. I don't get to do it like the new school kids where I can go onto a computer in a classroom environment. I had to get a pen and a paper and jot down a hundred yes or no's or multiple choice questions. I felt like I was in grade school again, but the test was way harder than the calculations you had. Yeah, in how like many questions eighth grade. was, it was on that? A hundred, a hundred questions of Oof. signage and what to do if a tractor passes. Does the tractor have a right of way? Are you on a right main road? Things like that, but it was it was fun studying for it, but frustrating when I got there. She said, "Do you need a pencil?" I do. <laughs> I did. So yeah. took that. So was that good? Is that, is that enough? You think you yeah, talked yeah. enough about that? I think that that's one? it. So moving right along to number three is getting yourself a bank account established, a German bank account, which is an IBAN number. It's basically the account number. It's pretty long for your checking account, your savings account, anything that you're getting direct deposited into, right? You do. You're going to need an IBAN number because bill U pay, utilities here, you're going to be requested or they're going to ask you for an IBAN number and um, that automatically comes out of your bank account every month, no matter what. So you have to have that in order to have electricity, um, oil, uh, there's different things that you need it for. Um, Basically, you need an American account and you need um, an American account that allows you to have an IBM number. Short okay. and sweet. Sounds short and sweet. All right, so moving on to number four, we have finding a house. Things you want to do before you get here. You want to find your place of residence or somewhere to live before you get here, right? Yes. So you'll just reach out to your uh, hiring sponsor. Um, Dave spoke about the hiring sponsor or a sponsor I did. Um, in a prior video. Yep. So if you want to see that, just look through our playlist and there's a couple of things regarding um, having yourself a sponsor, which is awesome. You need one. Yeah. And they'll give you some places that you can look at housing. Um, I started looking at housing, like I said, five months prior, uh, just because it's so hard to find housing around the base. And you want to be within or try to be within 20 kilometers of wherever you're going to be working because traffic is bad um, with all of the road construction going on right now. So, um, you know, if you have any questions about what areas to look in, also reach out to your hiring sponsor. They'll let you know, you know, some good areas around um, them. And you can utilize your search buttons to uh, make a, you know, kilometer distance within that kilometer distance. Um, and it'll only populate uh, those areas. Yeah, what I ended up doing after she told me where she, the radius that she was looking at, I went to Google Maps and I typed in the address or around about the address mm -hmm. and checked out everything that was in that area. Um, what, we used Google Maps first and then I translated that into Google Earth. But definitely Google Earth is your friend if you're deciding to move over here trying to find a house. So. 
any place that you're looking for a house online or or if you, your sponsor gives you some addresses, type that address into Google Earth and you will see it and see what's all in the area. It's not the same as when you land, but at least you, you know this before you get here, how far away it is from the Autobahn or to your job, wherever that would be, right? Yeah. Did I just take over? I did. No. That's what I did. No. He also looked up some, you know, around in our town if there was a bakery, if there was yeah. a store. You look for those little things like if there's a store around, how close is the nearest bakery? Because you know how I am with them bakeries. It's just really important to know your area wherever you decide to um, find a place uh, before you decide that you're going to live there. Hey, girl. I'm oh, sorry. <laughs> Anyways, we're going to... We're going to go ahead and keep going. Um, we're going to go, where are we? We are number five. List of items you may need before getting to Germany or a list of things that you should think of in your head before you get here that may come in handy before you get here. Now, some things that I wish I would have brought with us, one would be towels. You never have enough towels. In, my, in our case, we had none. We didn't think about <laughs> towels. We were thinking, oh, let's get the dogs on the plane. Let's get the luggage on the plane. The only towels we really had were the ones that were covering on the crates for the dogs. Mm -hmm. You can't reuse those when it gets, oh, it's, it's not, nope. So we're <laughs> just, you got to think before you get here, pack yourself a towel, just one. Could be like a universal gigantic towel or it could be a little beach towel. Whatever it is, pack you a towel. What else? Pack you a blanket, like a blanket you could take on the plane with you because you're gonna wanna have that blanket. You need to have a blanket. Like right now we're using little baby blankets until our things get here now we could go buy some blankets but we have so many blankets coming yeah. we use blankets to pack other things and other items in different boxes so we we're gonna overwhelm with blankets but that's a good that's a good one yeah yeah what else like also, um, things that you're gonna have to purchase when you get here are gonna be like pots and pans and um, absolutely Pots and pans. Mm -hmm. So we didn't think about that, that all of our stuff is packed and we weren't bringing pots and pans on the plane. Um, say that three times fast. Pots, pans, plane. Pots, pans, plane. Pots, <laughs> pans, plane. But you do want to have your pots. You want to have something to cook with because you can't go out every day and night and have yourself a dinner, even though I would. Also, you're going to need a can opener. A lot of things over here still require can openers, and we made a mistake of buying one of those dollar store can openers over here um, on a Saturday night, and then Sunday morning, you want to feed the dogs, boom, can opener breaks. It just bends, doesn't even open. Dogs suffered. They suffered. We Dave, suffered. Yeah, Dave suffered, not yeah. me. Oh, yeah. Dave suffered. Well, he had to take a knife to Jimmy that thing knife open. and yep yeah, so it was terrible yep we didn't have a hammer you like, didn't have anything I had to use a knife out something to I think I got a brick there was a brick in the garage I just <laughs> took a took a knife and a brick and <laughs> pounded it around like a caveman it was terrible knowing they didn't have knives back then but you know what I'm saying <laughs> fellas <laughs> so anyways terrible. yeah so what else do you think what other list um your hair styling products so like your flat iron and your curling iron, Dave had to go buy me one. Um, because, yeah, because it's a different wattage over yeah, here. So it'll blow. Yeah, so Heather did bring a curling iron over here okay. and I didn't think about what she packed. But when she got here, she asked me, you know, how is she gonna plug the sucker in? I'm like, well, we could go get a transformer, but even then we didn't have our base privileges to actually get a transformer. <laughs> I think the only place you can really get it, a transformer is a converter box, basically, for the military. So when they have all of their appliances um, from stateside, they can plug it in and it switches the wattage to the German system. What Dave was saying, um, the transformer to plug your your um, 110 to 220 volt into mm -hmm. and then plug it into the wall. Mm -hmm. uh, if it only says 110 volts, ditch it, trash it, sell it, because it's not going to work over here. And once you get here, you're not going to be able to sell it either. So yeah. just get rid of it while you're there. Right. Uh, awesome. So that's just a couple of items. That could be a whole other YouTube video about that. So we're going to move on to number six, which is using an APO address. So an APO address is the equivalent of a post office box in the United States. Heather, take it away. <laughs> The APO address you can use to ship some of your things before you come over. Um, so, like, if you have some important items, 
like China or something like that uh, that you want to send and it's really heavy and um, you don't want to pay that in shipping fees rates because it's like nine dollars and 35 cents a square foot in Georgia where we were rated uh, you can ship it to your APO address and it's much cheaper and also a flat rate yeah and if we would have known that beforehand because we did get our APO address I want to say four weeks about a month before we even got on a plane so if we would have figured this out um, things to know before we get here mm -hmm. you, we could have shipped a whole bunch of things already and it would it would be here it blankets. would get it would yeah. blankets like the whole thing with the blankets and the can openers we could have shipped that already pots it would have been pans. here pots and pans too but you know you live and learn you make these YouTube videos to help mm -hmm. others so that's what you do if you do get a job that has to do with the military or civilian contractors guys you can use an APO address an APO box to to ship your items over and um, it'll be fun good it'll it'll get you out and about and get your American things here when you need them right mm -hmm. and you can also use your prime account for amazon.com if you have Amazon Prime you can use that and get it shipped directly to your APO you cannot use amazon.com when you purchase something and get it shipped to your German address. German address. You have to use Amazon.de. If you want to ship to the German address. Now we're moving on to number seven, which is setting up a streaming service. So you want to set up a streaming service before you get here. If you have a Netflix account, a Hulu account, uh, Amazon Prime account, make sure that you have all the passwords and everything um, ready so that when you come over here, you will be ready to go because it takes a little while for the internet to get hooked up despite what everybody says. Some people say that it takes, oh, it takes about two or three days. Sometimes it takes a little longer than that. Despite what you looked at on Google Maps, you're not sure what kind of internet provider is going to give you the, the fastest streaming ability, the fastest bandwidth, or if it's a, included in your, in your monthly fee. So that was one thing we had no idea about, and I knew nothing about an Amazon Fire Stick, and boom, wouldn't you know it, that's like the, the main thing to use um, that the military uses because you can drop the fire stick in. I'm sure everybody knows what a fire stick is. And except for me, I had no clue. And get you one of those for like $39. And oh, if you already have one, even better. And mm -hmm. then you plug that up after you get your internet installed. And you, you, have, to, you have to have a streaming service because you're going to be lost. And then... There might be another video where you could find some on YouTube regarding you're going to need a virtual private network. You probably have to pay a membership for one or you can use a free one. But if you do not have that blanket, we're going to use blankets throughout this whole video. If you don't have mm -hmm. a blanket like that, you're going to be using, you're going to see German Netflix, German Hulu. And sometimes you won't get all of your, your shows that you've been watching in the States. If you don't know what a VPN is, then um, that's another whole other topic. But just know that you need to get some streaming services before you get here so that you're not just watching um, a furry, fuzzy TV um, TV screen. <laughs> don't until. get rid of your Netflix and stuff before you come over here either. I think that's what I was trying to say. And this is Heather's list, and I just I took over. It's what I no, do No, no, the Netflix Prime, all of that. You can order um, like Showtime, Prime, um, or Disney Plus, Showtime, HBO, all of that through your Prime account. So don't get rid of your Prime account with Amazon. And then Netflix, you're going to have to have that separate. So do not cancel your Netflix.com over there because you're going to have to have it to log in over here. Now, number eight, the final of the top eight is do not overpack at the airport. Okay. Two reasons for that. One you overpack you can't just you you if you sold everything or if you already you already shipped everything over you can't just give it to a family member to hold for the next couple of years while you're here you are going to lose that stuff and also there are things that i wish that i would not have packed because i didn't ever use it i bought four different pairs of shoes over here i've only worn like two pairs it may come in handy in a little while but right now that would have been extra space where i could have put probably some more underwear in <laughs> Right? Is that did I do good on number eight? You did good. On okay, number eight. I think you covered it. I did. Yeah. Okay, because I kind of took over your top eight. No, I think you covered eight. Actually, eight was his. He he just put that in. There. Well, it was a top five, but we thought maybe we should make it a little bit more interesting. <laughs> I mean, not everybody wants to know about eye band numbers. <laughs> 
I hope this helped you guys out. Sorry that we ramble. I ramble all the time. But I, I appreciate her coming on. And so you know it's called Dave and Heather living in Germany. I mean, you never really see her except for if she's walking the dogs or trying to get into a church that nine <laughs> times out of ten is never open. By the never way, open. he did this for my Valentine's Day gift because I wanted my family, our family, to be able to see us in Germany. So this whole site is my Valentine's Day gift. And now it's turning That's to... That's why I'm not going to be on my own Valentine's Day gift. I get it. <laughs> but at the same time, I don't know how many of our friends have said, it says Dave and Heather on it. You might as well just call it Dave living in Germany because uh, <laughs> who's Heather? Where is she? You just got to stand in. But no, she's been in a couple things. Just she's never been really in front. Um, I just got to get her used to talking to nobody and everybody at the same time comment, comment below. below or hit the subscribe button let us know you're there and we really appreciate your time and until next time cheers cheers say it one more time cheers she did it she's got it i think she's got it i think this is a wrap thanks guys Adios. no <laughs>